tea time. Oh, G, put up, put up, G, G. Come on. Oh, this heartbreak hill is pretty steep. Go. Be there, be there. This way, here. Nyla, come, this way. This way, come. Go down, go. So we've uh, pushed into the forest here and we're going to stop in a wee minute and I'm going to make some coffee. Let's find Renick. Um, get these a drink and then hey 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 this way this way get them a drink a wee treat and then gonna do a wee chat about what the uh, dog walking equipment I use so if you bear with me a couple of minutes just got a fallen tree to get over here and then we're gonna sell it for a brew oh, oh, oh. Back up, this way. Kura! That's it, good boy. Hey! Nyla, Nyla, Nyla! Hey, this, Nyla! This way, go! That's it. Good girl.
So just while I'm waiting on the water boiling for a coffee, I'll just quickly show you some of the uh, dog walking equipment I use. Right. First part, most important part, is the belt. Okay. This one's made by Canadog. Various other brands. I just chose this one. It's about 35 quid. Nice and wide, so it sits nice along your lower back and just over your hips. Slight padding in it. You can get ones with more padding, but for me, this is effective. So, on the outside, got a little webbing pouch here for a water bottle. I don't use it because normally I have a backpack on, and if I had a bottle in that, the backpack would probably sit on top of it, or else push it down and it would just make it too uncomfortable. So I don't use it. B pouch on the outside, two compartments. The first one, I just keep some poo bags in it. That's just a wee Falco lid on it. And the second one is a sip compartment. If you want to put keys, anything like that on it. I don't, because the sip itself is not great. And I actually broke it about ages ago. Um, so all I keep in there is a couple of knack binds. Um, I very rarely use knack binds. Unless I'm running the dogs, if I'm just out for a walk uh, on the double leads, I let them just sort of sniff about uh, freely. If you've got the knack lines on them, it keeps them very close together. All right, so I only do that if I'm like bike join or something like that. There. Okay, just wearing the belt. You see, just slightly above the hips. Okay. That makes it nice and comfortable. Detach the lead. Talk about these leads in a minute. All it is is a little carabiner. And you just clip it on there. Okay, so there's one on each side. You better say I attach the dogs on the side of the belt. You've also got the, the option of bringing these two D rings together and attach the carabiner in the middle so it's like that that's fine if you're walking one dog or maybe two if you do that before the force they're pulling you will bring that in tight like that and it gets very very sore especially on the hips so i don't do it however what i use or utilize these for that's hooked on they also hook that in as well and it just means if the main d-ring gives way thankfully there's no sign of that happening uh, they are really real well put together but if it does give way well then this will pull out and hopefully give me enough time to grab onto the lead so I don't have lost dogs okay So that's the belt. Carabiner, not much to say about that. I think everyone knows what a carabiner is. But these leads, these are three meter long uh, ski join leads from a company called Mammat in the Czech Republic. Okay. It's about a foot and a half here, a bungee, and you stretch it, you're getting about two and a half, almost three foot of extra length. And this is what's taking the force if the dogs start to pull or if they jump over something all right it gives that extra little bit of leeway so they're not pulling me like that all right the last thing you need is for the dogs to pull you so you go like that because you'll hurt your lower back okay now just a thing on these leads the ones i use and i'll show you them in a minute uh they're a double lead so about here this is all one part, but about here you've an extra bit of lead coming off, and then the other swivel at the end of it. All right. Now these can snap, as you can see, this one has. And it was a case of one dog wanted to go forwards and one wanted to go straight back. And before I knew the one wanted to go straight back, he was behind me. That was Coda, and he ripped this clean off. All right. It's only happened once. So you need to be careful, all right? Um, I don't know what it was. I'd seen a dog. He didn't like the dog. It spooked him. 
So he decided he'd do a wee boulder. Uh, they thankfully, his recall's good, so we got him back already. So the brew's coming on there nicely. And Rika is now in a good position. She stretched that lead out, so we'll be able to show you better. Anyway, look, this is Rika. Just a collar, it's a man mat collar. These are a nice wee collar. The only thing you need to be careful of, to loosen it, you have to tighten it. So if you put it too tight to start off with, when you tighten it, to loosen it, you can choke your dog. Alright, so just be careful. And my huskies, because they lower coats a couple of times a year, their necks do get thicker at different times of the year, so you need to find that balance. Okay. Right, so these are the harnesses I was on about. Uh, you got it. You got it. Okay. So, my mat harness, and they're designed for the likes of bike jorn or ski jorn. They also have the axe backs, they go right down. And I actually do use them for bike jorn. Uh, and they're, used for, they're like a racing harness. You can see they've all got the same. There's the next there. The only little addition that I've put on is a little bit of duct tape here. And that stops that part of the lead slipping through. Because it gets quite annoying. Done it coach. So anyway, these leads. You can see what I'm talking about here. Hey! Alright. So you can see where they're spliced together. And it was just at this point that it failed. Um, now that was about a year and a half ago, so up until now I've had no issues with them. And just so Nyla isn't feeling left out. Again, she's wearing the exact same thing. Okay, on these there is two D-rings, so you can attach your lead there or there. I like to use the, the back one, and it just gives that extra few inches. Um, of length on the lead. Okay, and they're really handy, especially when you've got the carabiner. Because if you're stopping for a brew, then you just quickly wrap that round the tree, and they're all nice and secure. You want to notice the boys have got a different lead on. These are just actual leads I carry, and it's for this purpose. Same idea though, carabiner at the end, and just attached to the D ring. This is a Julius K9 lead, and this is about, I think it's 2.1 metres long, and they are a really strong lead. Um, I used to use four of these and walk the dogs without a belt, and it gives you quite sore arms. So I'm really glad that I found the uh, the Man Mat Ski Dorn bungee lead. I think that coffee is almost ready. So I'm going to sit down and relax for a bit. And then we're going to head on.